very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. Really good to have you here with me on the show this evening. Now, tonight's special guest is Scottish rock legend Fish from the band Marillion. And here is what happened when I caught up with him. Oh, Derek, it's lovely to have you on the show. How are you? I'm doing rather well, thank you very much. Um, uh, so I'm in East Lothian in Scotland, and uh, oh. for a few minutes we seem to have the sun with us, which is good. So This is promising. Things are looking up. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's an absolute honour to have you here on the Memory Lane 80s show. Uh, I want to play out uh, a song that I know that you wrote, an absolute 80s classic, Hayley. Yeah, I wrote that with the band Marillion that I used to be in between uh, 1981 and uh, I left them in 1988. Yeah, 1985, it was a very good year for us. It was um, it was a song that we should have actually been performing at Live Aid, but uh, because I, my management didn't let me come off an Italian tour to go and sing on the charity single, we were kind of omitted from it. But this, uh, and I, it's, I know that mid year had the same thing with, with Vienna as well. And uh, um, yes. It was a song that was uh, that got stuck at number two and never quite, never quite reached that peak. But it was, yeah, it's a song that um, is eternal. It's an evergreen song, which I'm very proud to be part of writing. Well, you should be very proud of it. It's just brilliant. We're going to play that out now. Here is Kaylee uh, from 1985. Oh, now Derek, I know you're retiring after 40 years in the business. Um, I've got a question from Chris, one of our viewers. He wants to know, what has been the highlight of your career? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of highlights. Um, I yes. mean, go back, I mean, when we played the Hammers with the Odeon, well, when we played the Marquee Club and sold out for the first time in, in 1982, that was a big one. Um, and then, then selling out the Hammers with the Odeon two nights in a row was cool. I mean, there's been a lot of highlights. It's, it's impossible to turn around and, and take, you know, all that that period yeah. and say, you know, great highlights. I mean, I remember um, when I went on stage in Mannheim at a festival, uh, we were supporting Queen in 1986 oh, and I sung wow. Tootie, Tootie Fruity with Freddie. That was quite a big highlight as well. So there's this... this there's too many Just to mention. Incredible. Yeah. There's too many. There's too many to mention. Uh, well, your next song, uh, Phil Collins, In the Air Tonight. Why have you picked this song for us? I remember hearing in the air tonight when I first moved down to Aylesbury to join Marillion and I bought the single in a small uh, record store, remember them, in uh, the High Street. Back in the day. And it was, I was astounded by it. I mean, obviously, I was a fan of the, the, the I was a fan of Genesis in the 70s and it was kind of, they were always like, a, a big influence on Marillion. But I think when he went solo and he came out with this as his first single, it was stunning. And that drum break, because he recorded it in the Townhouse Studios in in, uh, in London with Hugh Padgham uh, producing it. And that sound that he got on the drums, everybody's tried to to, to manage, you know, whoever tries to copy. And I, I think at the end of 1981, I think the wish list on every young kid's, young kid's kind of Santa list was, Dad, can you buy me a drum kit? And um, <laughs> and it was it was great because at the Townhouse Studios where they recorded in the year tonight was where I recorded my own first solo album, Vigil in the Wilderness of Mirrors. So it was. Um, wow. But I love the song. I thought, yeah, you know the the, the lyric on it is uh, biting, <laughs> and uh, but musically it's just it's so simple but and so perfect. It's just a great great rock song. It really is a great rock song. Well, it was number two in 1981. We'll see you after this. Now, I want to talk about your new single. It's called Garden of Remembrance, uh, taken from your final solo album. Just incredible. Yes, uh, the album's called Weltschmerz. We, I came up with the idea with it in 2015. It's, um, the title is a German word. It means uh, pain of the world or world pain or ennui. And um, I think they'll probably burn me at the stake uh, in another couple of years' time for coming out with an album that's all based about pain of the world, right? But Gardner, Gardner Remembrance <laughs> is a song that uh, I wrote with uh, John Mitchell. And um, it was basically inspired when my dad died in, in 2016 and the run up to that and the kind of end game oh. of his life. It was watching the love between my mother and my father and, you know, having them been together for scores of years. And, you know, the song is about somebody who has dementia and it's, it's about a, a relationship where one side of that, the male side of that relationship is physically there, but you know, mentally he's drifting off. And I kind of applied it to my own life. And so, oh. you know, my wife and I, we love gardening. Garden's like one of my 
major pursuits outside music and other things. But I mean, uh, it was, um, it was, I wanted to write about two people getting older and um, it's a, a very poignant yeah. song. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, well, you should be very proud of it. Let's take a look at the video. Here it is. He hears a voice He tries to recognize the source and place the name a face so familiar, the smile soft and warm, the memory evades him, his mind wanders on. Down rabbit holes, a darkened maze, a place to hide and be alone. Where thoughts land like snowflakes In the palm of his hand Swift melting moments His tears a surprise He tries to remember Just what made him cry With the beautiful stranger Who is holding his hand He's lost between the here and now Somewhere that he can't be found She's still here A lover, ghost of memory She'll wait for an eternity He's still here The empty room Moth-eaten curtains, drunken dreams Hold back the light But for solitary sunbeams On dull chandeliers Colourless butterflies The feet now revealed In silken webs Forever held within the seals of yellow trowels That gather dust above the dance hall floor The silent space She stands alone and in her heart she hears the sound the sweet lift of music that drew them so close That first stands together with the world at their feet Not so long ago He's lost between the here and now Somewhere that he can be found She's still here A love, a ghost of memory She'll wait for an eternity He's still here Now, Fish, we have got a quick fire quiz round for you, which you tell me you're going to be rubbish at, <laughs> but I'm sure you're going to be great. <laughs> I am. Uh, the one thing, if I'm ever on, I've done Pointless and I've done various other kind of TV shows. Okay. And the one thing I always pray they never ask me about is 1980s music. So. <laughs> no, don't worry. You're going to be fine. A favourite song of all time from the 80s. I know it's hard to pinpoint one, but there must be one that you really love, right? I think that my favourite all-time song is, is Every Breath You Take by The Police. Oh, um, yeah. It was, uh, lyrically, it's just genius. I've always got, 
I've always got, I've got a great memory of when I went to America for the first time and driving up freeways oh. in kind of that in in July in the summer and being in the the being on a tour bus and this coming on the radio all the time. And at the yeah. at the time, I, I kind of split up with uh, my girlfriend, who was Kay, who was the, became the Kay Lee song in 1985. So there was all that going on at the same time. So I've got a lot of memories of America and, you know, and, and radio yeah. and MTV was, was just kicking off at that time as well. So there was, there was a lot happening. It was a, a brilliant period. But that song I've got, it's my 80s song. Yeah, it's your 80s song. So we're going to play that out in just a second. But we want to know, what's your favourite TV show from the 80s? Favourite TV song or favourite <laughs> TV song from the 80s would be The Young Ones. Uh, oh, yeah. I loved watching the young ones, and I was I was lucky. I got to know uh, Rick Mayo, I became friends with Nigel Planer, oh, and wow. you know, and I loved that and, and the comic strip as well. I loved that that alternative humour that came out in the eighties. But the young ones, I know, I was really well chuffed because we actually got a mention on it once, you know, which hey. I, I th which I actually think was disparaging. <laughs> 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 Great stuff. And thing you wish that you could bring back from the 80s? Uh, the Sony Pro Walkman cassette. I loved that. That was the ultimate desire of any musician, I oh, think, the earliest. Yes. And it was a lovely black monolith of a machine, right? And at the time, it was it was, um, it was was high-tech. And I, I loved, you know, hanging that Walkman around my shoulders and going for walks, especially when we yeah. were working in Berlin when we were doing the Miss Place Children album. And I remember listening to Joni Mitchell and Blue Nile and things, you know, on the Sonny Walkman. And the fact that you could record with it, it was great for doing little demos. It was great for doing all sorts yeah. of stuff. I lo that was before the tech became too techy. Yeah, what, it's the, too techy now, isn't it? Bring back the Walkman. The Sonny yeah. Pro Walkman is my, is, uh, that's what I love. And I've still got one somewhere in this house. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You need to track that down. Well, we're going to play out your favourite song for you, Fish, because we're good to you like that. Here is Every Breath You Take by Police. Enjoy. You... Now, your next song choice, Tom Petty, Free Falling. Why have you chosen this song for us? Um, Tom Petty was somebody I discovered when I was working in forestry way back in the 70s, and it was a song called American Girl Turned Me On To Him. But as, as he went on, the Wildflowers album and things are, 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 are very personal to me. And uh, I thought Tom Petty was just in a, 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 a wish I'd met him because he always came across as yeah. being an amazing character. But Free Fallen, this is just such a beautiful song. And it's, again, it's like every breath you take. It's a very poignant, heartfelt song. And yeah. I, I remember it because it was being played heavily on the radio at the time when I was leaving Marillion in 1988. And um, so it's always kind of stuck with me for that lot. Mm. Yeah. Just beautiful. Well, let's play it out. It's from 1989, and we'll see you after. Now, your next song choice, uh, Queen, Radio Gaga. Yes, loving that. I was really lucky that, you know, we I got to meet the, the, the guys for Queen. Um, wow. When they were at the peak, and like I said, Marilli went out in 1986, and we did a, a, a European tour of big, uh, big stadiums with them. And um, I think, you know, in the 80s, when Bruce Springsteen, Floyd, everybody, you know, it was stadium shows. It was, it was like when stadium shows really came to be. And I think everybody was looking at, you know, writing songs that could be played in a stadium and having that crowd participation. And it was Roger Taylor. This is, I think this is Roger Taylor's song. And Roger just came up with an absolute classic. And watching Radio Gaga, you know, come across, you know, live is, is just... And an incredible song of communion, and um, like I said, I've always got, I always have fond memories of, of, of those periods. You know, when I hear the song. Yeah, me too. Well, it's number two in 1984. Here we go. Now, Fish, your next song choice: uh, Big Log, uh, Robert Plant. Why have you chosen this one? Again, Big Log by Robert Plant. It was like Robert Plant having been so. Uh, well known for his, his period as, as frontman of Led Zeppelin, you know, when he broke away and, and went solo, knowing myself very, very well. You know, there's a lot of question marks about, you know, what are they going to do? You know, how are they going to manage it? What are they going to write about? And I remember this song in, in 1983 because we were working in the Manor Studios recording the Fugazi album. Uh, and um, a big log just had that beautiful kind of laid back groove to it all. And I was really surprised at what he'd come up with, um, what Robert had come up with at that time. And it was obvious that, you know, he had, a, a, you know, 
a solo career that was going to be taking him down a very different route. <clears throat> so th that's my... And the one memory I do have, right about that period as well, is that Mark Kelly, the cable player with Marillion and I, we were at Monmouth Studios, which was on a recent BBC documentary, and we stayed down oh. at the Mill House. And I remember one time we got very, very drunk. And we got in an inflatable canoe. Dotty fish. An inflatable canoe. And we took it down the River Mon and went all the way down in this canoe that was deflating all the way down this river. And we arrived outside this pub and I walked in with Mark with the, the inflatable canoe left at the front door, deflated. And we were soaking wet and we just, we had some pound notes that were, or we had a, a 10 pound note that was soaking wet, went up to the bar. And it, it was the next thing somebody said, Robert wants to meet you. And I went, Robert? And he said, and it's just good. And I walked through, he's soaking wet. And he's like, fish, this is Robert Plant. Robert Plant, this is fish. He's like, and I'm standing, no. standing there, just come off with a, a deflated canoe ride. That's where I met Robert Plant for the first time down at Monmouth, where he actually worked on the, the, the album that became, that had the big log song on it. So there you go. Wow. There you go. That is a story and a half. All right, let's play it out. Here it is from 1983. We'll see you after. Fish, it's been so good to have you on the show this evening. Thank you for your time. Just no brilliant. Uh, we're going to play out your final song, uh, With or Without You. You two, absolute tune. Yeah, I, 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 I like you two. I led you two up to the Joshua Tree, which is the the album that came off. We did some work with them uh, in the eighties. It was great when we were playing and, and, and doing a lot of German festivals. I used to love playing across in Europe. And we'd be doing gigs with like the Eurythmics, Simple Minds, Big Country, and U2, when all those bands were coming up. And of course, U2 became U2, you know? Yeah. Uh, but this album, the Joshua Tree album, and ag again, I've got a lot of memories from America, you know, doing American tours and hearing this song. But I mean, it's just, they had this ability to write, write incredibly uplifting songs that were classic stadium songs, always classic stadium songs, you know? Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Well, we're going to play that out. But thank you so much. We need to get hold of your single, which I believe is out in September, isn't it? The 11th of September, is that right? Uh, the album, Welch Welch, is out on the 25th of September. And right. so you can only get it through the website, which is fishmusic.scot, www.fishmusic.scot. Uh, Garden of Remembrance is uh, out now, and right. uh, but the album is the 25th of September. Great stuff. And we'll put details on the screen below of uh, how you can purchase that. But thank you so much. It's been such an honour to have you on the show. It's Fish, everyone. Thank you. Big Beer says hi. Oh, we've now come to the end of the show. It's come so quick as usual. But a big thank you to Fish from the band Marillion for being a fantastic guest. Absolutely brilliant tunes, loving his new single and just an honour to have him on the show with us this evening. And a huge thank you to you at home as well for being such a fantastic support to the show. It's so much appreciated and I love hearing from you. If I haven't heard from you, get in contact. Details are on the screen below. I'm Hayley Palmer. Have a lovely week and I will definitely see you same time, same place next week.